Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to tell your about story on Scroll with Divi. Here's the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. However, this technique can be done on an existing page. All right, so we're going to come over here to pages, click on add new. Now we're going to give this page a name and uh, you can name it whatever you want. But uh, for my example here, I'm just going to call it story and click on use Diffy Builder. So like I said, I'm going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to click on start building. So before I add any rows or any modules, I want to come over here to my section settings and add a background color. So I'm going to click here on background and add black as my color. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and just paste my color in here. And next we need to come over here to design sizing. And what we need to do here for the minimum height is to set it to 100 VH. So that means everything is going to be visible on our main viewport. Okay, so now that I have this all set, it's time now to add our rows. So I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to come over here and click this plus button and add a single column. So now that I've added my single column, I also need to adjust my width because I want everything to be all the way to the edges. So I'm going to close this and then come over here to my row settings. So here I'm going to click on design sizing and I am going to just disable this and disable equalize column heights. So for my width here, it needs to be 100% and maximum width is going to be 100% as well. Now it's time to add my padding. So I'm going to add uh, left and right padding. So to do that, I'm going to scroll down here, go to spacing, and I'm going to add 20 VW. And this same amount needs to be applied to the right. So notice like that I can use this chain icon. All right, so now that I have this all set, the next step now is to head over to the animation tab. And the animation I am going to use is the fade. So I'm going to select it. And uh, I'm going to start with the animation duration. So I'm going to scroll further down here and set this to 3000. And the animation speed curve is going to be ease in, ease out. So I uh, just leave the default as it is. And the repeat needs to be set to once. So again, just leave that as the default. Now let's go to our positioning. So I'm going to click on the advanced tab position. Now we need this to be set to absolute. So I'm going to click on this drop down and select it. So the location needs to be centered. So I'm going to come over here and center it. Okay. So now that I have the absolute position and the location set to center, I'm going to save. And then now it's time to add our modules. So the module I'm going to add is going to be a text module. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and search for my text module and select it. Now we need to add some text in here. So you can add whatever text you want here. So I'm just going to delete what I have so far and add my text. Okay, so that's my text. I'm going to highlight it and set my paragraph here to heading one. Now let's go ahead and stylize this text by coming over here to the design tab, heading text, and remember, this is on heading one. So making sure that it's on heading one. Our heading font here is going to be Nonito. So I'm going to search for it. And by the way, it's absolutely free. So I'm just going to search for Nonito. And here it is. Select that. And my font weight here is going to be semi-bold and white. So that it really stands out from the background because we have a really dark background there. Okay, so moving on, we need our size here for the text. So I'm going to enter my size and we want it nice and big. So while we're here as well, we might as well go in and set our sizes for the tablet. So here we're going to set it to 9VW. It's always a good idea to go in and uh, set your sizes for all your mobile devices. So for the phone tab, we're going to set this to 11 and just double checking here on the tablet. So on the tablet here, we have it as nine and the desktop, this needs to be seven. There we go. All right. So seven, nine and 11. Now it's time to set our scroll effects. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here. In fact, we need to be in the advanced tab, scroll effects. So the effect that we need here is going to be the vertical motion. So after you've selected vertical, vertical motion, you need to enable it. Right. So now that we've enabled it, we need to set our starting offset. So I'm just going to drag this slider down here to 100%. Okay. So here we're going to set it to 10 
and over here the fading is going to be 10 as well and then i'm going to drag this to 50 percent and we're going to set this starting offset to zero next we're going to come over here to fade in and fade out so we're going to go ahead and select it activate it and now it's time to set our settings so over here the viewport top we're going to drag this all the way down to zero so here we need to be at 55 there we go so over here we need to bring this down to about 62 there we go and the fading opacity we're going to set this to zero and the midway opacity 100 percent is fine and then over here we're going to set this to 100 percent right so let's move on to our next item and this is the scaling up and down so i'm going to select it activate it and uh, we also need to make some adjustments here so the first thing we need to do here is to set our viewport to about 40 percent so i'm going to drag it all the way to about 40 there we go and then our starting scale is going to be 100 percent so i'm going to drag this midpoint here to 74 there we go and the mid scale is going to be 95 percent and finally over here is going to be 90 percent so pretty much i've done all the settings that i need we're going to save this now so we need several of these so we need to go in and duplicate this section so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to click here on this little button here so now we have two of these sections so the next step now is to go into the second one here that I've duplicated and uh, click here on this gear icon. So this now is giving us access to our text options and we can also update the text in here. Now we're going to set this to heading two. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we need to adjust the settings. So we're going to click here on design, heading text, and make sure you choose the second tab, the heading two tab. And we also need Nunito here. Uh, just to make sure everything is consistent. So I'm going to select it. And over here, it needs to be semi-bold. So let's go ahead and select that. And uh, the color here needs to be white, so it really stands out from the background. And then now it's time to add our sizes. So for our heading to size, it's going to be 5VW. And then let's head over here now to our mobile view. So for the tablets, this is going to be 7VW. Okay, and then for the phone, this is going to be 8VW. So make sure you've, you have the right tab uh, selected and then make the adjustment. Okay, so now that I've added my sizes for the three uh, devices, the next step now is to, in fact, let me just snap this over to the left. All right, so the next step now is to add our line height. So I'm going to scroll further down here and set this to 1.2. All right, so now that we've added our heading to text, we're going to close this and then add another text module. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and search for my text module and select it. So this text module now is going to have our description text. So we can go ahead and use what we have here already, but you know what? I'm just gonna use some lorem text. So I'm gonna highlight this and replace it with my lorem text. So now that I have this all added in, I need to also go in and customize this by coming over here to the design tab, text, and this time we need to use open sans. So I'm gonna search for it. And here it is. And we also need to work on the color here because we want to make it easier to read. So I'm going to choose white for my color. Text size is going to be 1VW. And our line height is going to be 3.1. Next, we're going to come over here to spacing because we need to give this a bit of space on the top there. So our top margin here now is going to be 8VW. And we also need to add our scrolling effects here on this module. So I'm going to click here on advanced scroll effects. And let's start here with the fade in, fade out. So I'm going to go ahead and select it, activate it. And uh, starting opacity here is going to be 100%. And over here, we need to drag this to about 31%. Okay, there we go. And then our viewport top needs to be at 35%. So I'm going to bring this all the way down here to, there we go, 35. Okay, so here, the midpoint is going to be zero and ending opacity here is also going to be zero. Great. So now that I have all my everything dialed in, the next part here is the uh, scroll up and down effect. So let's go ahead and add it, activate it. And I'm going to start here with the viewport bottom and set it to 40%. In fact, let's, let's start with the, uh, the midpoint here, which needs to be at 74. And then I'm going to drag this all the way to 40%. There we go. And uh, we're going to set this to 100 95 and this one here needs to be at 90. so now that we're done here i'm going to save 
Oops, you know what? I haven't changed the color here. Oh, in fact, the color has changed. <laughs> it's the fade effect. So sometimes that can be confusing. But anyway, now that we have this all set, the next step now is to clone the uh, second section and you can do this as many times as you want. So I'm just gonna do this one more time. And uh, what you can do now is to go in and change this text to whatever text you want to complete your story. So once you've added that, you can finalize this by adding a call to action. So the call to action can be a button. So let's go and add our button. So I can just show you quickly how to do that. All right, so to add the button, all you need to do is to come over here, click on this plus button and search for our button module and select it. Now that we have our button here, we can stylize it and make it look the way we want. So let's go ahead and do that by coming over here to design. In fact, you know what, before we go to the design, let's just say, get in touch. So this is going to be our text for the button. So now we can click here on design button and we can now start working with our button text size, which we can set to one VW. Next, we're gonna set our button text color to white. No, sorry, our button text color needs to be black. So make sure that this is all the way down here to black. Right, so our button background color needs to be set to white. So let's go ahead and do that. Now our border width is supposed to be at zero. Now moving forward with our button here, we also need to do further more adjustments. So for the radius, if you want to make it look like this, you can set this at 50 VW or even 100 pixels, it's the same thing. And then we also want to make sure that our button font here matches our design by coming over here and setting it to Nonito. There we go. And we also want this set to bold. And for the uppercase, you can make it uppercase or lowercase. This is all up to you. Right, so I prefer it to be uppercase. So next, what we're going to do now is to head over here to spacing because here is where we're going to make our button even look much bigger by giving it more padding. So I'm going to set this to 1VW. So that needs to be top, bottom, and then left, right. We're going to set it to 3VW. So now you can see our button looks much bigger. So once you're done with that, you can just save this. And now it's time to do a quick preview and take a look at our design. All right, so this is our final design. So I'm gonna scroll through and you can see here the animation is working and the fading is also working. And now we have our call to action. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments box below and I'll do our best to respond to them. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.